What's up? Today we are going to be talking to the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. TJ. So sit back, relax, and watch yourself some nation. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from WCR Nation, and of course, from the Cleaning Resource. What is up? If it's your first time checking out the podcast, thank you for doing so. Hopefully it doesn't suck, and hopefully you want to watch all the other episodes. There's like 95 of them. Go back, watch, follow. It's all there for you to listen to. Uh, If you're one of the elite, one of the cool kids, somebody who watches every episode, you thumbs up every video on YouTube, and of course you buy your supplies through me. It is because of you that I get to do this, and... Uh, I believe it was uh, name brand hot dogs is what I was told I get to get this summer. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you, Dave, the window licker um, for uh, getting me name brand hot dogs. But either way, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A uh, couple of quick shout outs this week. I want to say what's up to David Little. Thank you uh, for being awesome. And Steve Fraz, who I probably butchered your last name, but but there you go either way. So Without further ado, let's get on with it. What's going on, man? Nothing, man. I just uh, walked in the door from cleaning some windows, man. How are you? Nice. I'm great. I'm great. So that's the first kind of, first and foremost, you're still out there cleaning every day. Yes. Yes. Owner operator. Nice. Yeah. Owner operator. Every day, six days a week, rain or snow, I'm out there doing my uh, thing. Yeah. This time of year, rain or snow. Ah. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's why I moved south, by the way. Is right. of snow, Good but. for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Good for you. I don't blame you at all. No kidding. Especially this year, man. The guys had it rough. I'm I'm yeah. very happy. We've already pulled flowers out of our yard and put them in vases. So that's how it is down here. But are you serious? <laughs> Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> I woke up this morning and there was snow on the ground and I come home this afternoon and there's nothing Ugh. grass is showing again. It's unbelievable. See like Winter the pain in the morning. The... Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And the, the pain in the butt part of that is your brain gets like window cleaning when it's nice. Yeah. yeah. And then the snow comes and you're like, <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a really, it's a deflator, man. You know, cause you, it's not that you can't clean the windows in the cold. It's just that it's cold. You know, it you're sucks. Just like, yeah. I just want to wear a t-shirt, you know, not have to put anything in my water. Just, you know, have a nice easy day of it. Not yeah. the cold and three layers and, you know, antifreeze yeah. in your water, you know, and the, yeah. the going indoors and sweating your butt off. Cause you got all the layers on going <laughs> yeah, back outside yeah. and freezing. Yeah. That's, that's the best part. Yeah. So, so I don't know if anybody out there doesn't know you, but tell us kind of a little bit about the outlaw window cleaning, like that whole side of things, your podcast, where they can find it, all that stuff. I guess we're like the, uh, I guess we're um, outlaw window cleaner is a small Facebook group that, you know, just kind of uh, rides the outskirts, I guess, of the industry. We're kind of, we kind of let our hair down a little bit more than <laughs> most places. So I mean, we're quite opinionated. Um, you know. I, the I was actually asked by Tim Huber and Joshua Schof to be a part of the Outlaw Window Cleaner Group, you know, a, a partner, a third partner. In yeah. it. And, uh, I kind of, you know, I had my own ideas for what I wanted to do. And the podcast was one of those things, you know. So, you know, that's how, uh, that's what my involvement was. And Tim's like, you got to start a YouTube channel. So I started doing the YouTube videos and stuff. But I was kind of at first a little leery, you know, because... Um, you always worry about what, if people are going to see where you're working. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I, you know, that's just me personally. I was like, man, yeah. I don't want people to know what I'm doing. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But it's, uh, it's turned into uh, it's, it's own monster. You know what I mean? We, you know, it's, it's pretty cool, man. We just kind of let it go naturally where it was going to yeah. go and where the audience was going to take us. So, I mean, and here we are today. So yeah, it's nice, pretty cool. Nice. I like it. Well, with the podcast, what's awesome about it is that it's it's at night. It's on YouTube. Yes. Um, it's in all the groups to kind of remind. Tim does a good job on that. Yes. And the cool part is because it's a, a YouTube live, you get to check all the comments. Yes. So, so if you're watching, you can interact. And that's I think that's what a lot of people's favorite part of it is, is that, you know, we can get on. We kind of, we roast a little bit. We're, we're we're ball busters. You know what I mean? That's, that's what we (laughs) do. You know, we, we, we get along, I guess, outlaw window cleaner, the, the podcast, the group is more like, you know, your buddies on the glass, you know, back and forth all day. That's really what it is. You know what I mean? It's just camaraderie, you know? Yeah. 
I, I enjoy it, especially getting to meet people. I got to meet you. You know, you get to meet cool people, you know what I mean, from other parts of the industry, overseas, yeah. everywhere. It's awesome. You know, it's awesome. Yeah. I enjoy it. Everybody thinks that uh, YouTubers, we all like, I don't know that there's millions of YouTube dollars that go around, but it's really just like <laughs> no. us just hanging out, having fun, talking yes. like what we know. Like yes. nobody's rich in this industry of like podcasting. This is like, yeah, I don't you, think anybody, the, the people don't realize how much effort goes into producing a YouTube video or not so much the edit, the editing and is one thing, but shooting it is also another cause you're, yeah. it's kind of taking a little time out of your day to do that. I only shoot on slow days, you know, when I've got the time because right. it's such a pain in the rear end to get my chubbiness into pictures properly. You know, you gotta, <laughs> there's a lot of angles to make this look good. <laughs> you got to have the right lighting. Yeah. And is. I don't look good, so I just do the best I can. You know, I don't want people to see Quasimodo doing uh, squeegee moves and stuff, you know. Who wants to do that? <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, the, the one thing that people don't understand either in some of the videos that, like, if you're watching you squeegee, that means your, like, camera is set up on a tripod or even a little right. tripod or anywhere where, like, everybody who walks by you is like, that dude filming yeah. himself? Dude, like, yeah. Uh, it takes a while to get over that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my then, daughter uh, bought me a, a head, uh, a headband with uh, a camera mount on it. And I, um, I can't, I can't bring myself to wear it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just like if I'm going to do a house and I know nobody's going to be home, I'll wear it. But if I'm out on route work or doing a restaurant or something, I just can't do it. It's just too embarrassing. <laughs> I, I vote to want to see you in little head with the big camera. I call, I call it the fat head cam is what I call it. Um, when I do wear it, I <laughs> yeah, yeah. get a little thing in the corner of the, the screen there that says fat head cam. That's my, <laughs> then you know nice. I'm wearing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's nice. That, like, when you're talking, I know you're, uh, you've had Luke on with yours, but when he does yeah. stuff and you watch videos with multiple angles, like that's multiple cameras set up. Like I am very, very happy that I sit like in front of this, you know, backdrop and staring right. through a little hole on my computer and nobody. This is much more enjoyable. I can, <sighs> I can assure you that. I mean, I Luke and there's like a Mike, the glass guy. He's another one that gets all kinds of angles all mm -hmm. at one time. It's, that's a little bit too much for me. I'm like a GoPro away from that, though. I might buy another GoPro, just get a third angle on there, just keep up with the big boys, you know? <laughs> just, you're in this, you got to yeah. stay in the same league, yeah. you know? Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, it's fun to watch, though, because like a two-minute like edit, you know, slow motion and like, you know, filters and, and music and – and then like the whole thing's done, you're like, that was awesome. And you don't realize it just took like two weeks for them. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, you know, the editing process is a, is a pain in the rear. You know what I mean? Because you gotta, you try to keep them small, but you got so much um, footage. And so, you know, you're trying to get a point across, like most of my videos, I voice over about the tool I'm using. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is why da, 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 you know, but it's, <sighs> It's a nightmare getting all that stuff condensed down so people will watch it. You know, it's yeah. got to keep a lot of things into consideration. So, yeah. And then you put the wrong uh, thumbnail on the front of it and nobody watches it. And all that right. time just is nothing. Right. Right. And when you're done doing these videos, you don't make, I mean, again, I, I try to explain because people are like, oh man, yeah, you're getting that YouTube. I know you guys always joke about making that yeah. WCR money. Same yeah, thing. I don't get, yeah. <laughs> like, it's not there. It's, it's just non-existent. You, I mean. I bet someone, even with the following that Luke has, I'm probably, that's probably only three or maybe a couple hundred dollars a month. Maybe, maybe yeah. if he's lucky, if they want to pay him, you know what I mean? So that's yeah. a pain in the rear end, man, to do all and that it, stuff. And the, if the it's equipment. taking you, yeah, like yeah. six hours worth of like recording and editing time, right. six hours a week for $300, if that, and those right. are, it just isn't there, but it's still fun to do. I'm more of the type. I'm. I, I think that the window cleaning videos are like winter time, fall time things for me. The summertime, you might get a couple of videos out of me, but that's about it. I'm just too yeah. busy. Just too busy. Yeah. And I prefer. That's what I liked about getting into window cleaning when I was asked to do it. I was like, you know, yeah, I'll give that a shot. And the very first time I did it, I was like, man, this is cool, man. We're just different place every day doing mm -hmm. our thing. I mean, how it can just you doesn't not? get boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I nice. enjoy it. So, um, uh, you and, and Chris Lamborghinis yes, uh, from WCR. Yeah. yeah. So you two, there's like an unspoken love between you guys that, yeah. that I mean, we see on the other end, but right. tell us a little bit about that. Um, I, Chris, um, 
Chris has like, you know, it's widely known that we didn't get along (laughs) at first. Um, (laughs) But I, Chris is um, not the person I thought he was. Um, And I, I stand here humbled that he is the exact opposite of what I was told he was and my impression of him. You know, he's a sweetheart of a dude. He sent me a Christmas present. (laughs) nice yeah he's like i really like this book he goes i think it'll help you out i was like all right thanks i mean i felt like maybe he was you know kind of self-diagnosing me telling me hey man you need to read this (laughs) calm down (laughs) yeah yeah, right He's he's a really good guy um i uh i don't think i don't think i had a real big issue with anything to be honest with you they did they they always did me right you know i did have an issue and chris um, like immediately just like, boom, if I had known, if you would have told me, dude, I would have taken care of you two, two years later, guy gave me a refund. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can't, what could you say about a guy that'll do something like that? So that was kind of the turning point. I was like, this is a good guy, man. I gotta stop being so mean. <laughs> there, there has to be like, there has to be a good and a bad in everything. And I yes. feel like sometimes we get, it's like how Luke sometimes gets thrown into that because he's kind of the big, like video guy yeah. he kind of gets in, into that it's the same thing with wcr is that a lot of people think that we somehow are the puppet masters you know pulling the strings right, on right making and we everything. play on that all the time we play oh. on that we we, I, we like to make fun of that all the time because it's so <laughs> ridiculous it is yeah. our um our i guess the olive branch where i extended it was all about you know there's a whole nother side of this community that doesn't know who we are. I don't know who these people are. I'm trying to do a window cleaning podcast and I'm fighting and arguing with people I don't really know. So I just stopped yeah. and took the time to get to know people. And it turned out that I was the jerk, not you guys. So, you know, well, <laughs> it, it's, it's the whole thing. There's always the pros and cons. Right, and the, right. the crappy thing about it is, is like, like Tim, <laughs> I haven't really talked to Tim, but Tim was in our group and I was the one that had to, I kicked him out of the group. Like, Oh the, no. The funny so story. It's you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, listen, in an entire year, in an entire year of all the face, so all the Facebook groups that we kind of uh, do moderate, obviously there's questions. I'm in those groups all the time. I spend three, four hours on Facebook every day, just scrolling through groups and seeing if there's questions, trying to help people. Right. And one of the smallest, like every year, maybe two people, do we have to actually kick out of groups where we're like, warn them and warn them and warn them. And Tim is one of those guys where it was like, Tim, like uh, Chris had talked to him kind of about um, posting some of the, I think it was the Bob videos. Mm-hmm. And we're like, he was just posting too many of them. We're like, hey, just post like one a day. And he, it's right. Tim. Tim was like, ah, all right. <laughs> so he starts posting them. I, that's that, you know, people, you know, you get, you get into a mode, you know what I mean? And you want to be right about something that's both sides. You know what I mean? It was fun though. Like it was, it was that like, and I knew exactly because here, like what was happening was, was he would go on and he would post the video and I, I take the video down. I said, Hey Tim, Hey FYI, man, it's Jersey over when the clean research, just calm down on the videos. And he just wrote like, I don't know, like a big thumbs up or something. And then posted the video again. (laughs) So I deleted, I deleted his video 16 times, I think, yeah. in one day. And finally, oh, I was like, ah. That's what, and call, then, that's what we call hard body karate. We kind of go oh, hard it was body awesome. karate. So it was far. awesome. The downside to that mm-hmm. is once Tim left the group, it was like outlaws formed of like the kind of that side of things. It was just yeah. so I would love to. Uh, a, lot to of, uh, a lot of uh, unnecessary drama, really. Uh, it and was, it's cool. what's good is is that's that's all everyone seems to be on the same page right now and that's a good thing for everybody you know what i mean it? that's at least my personal opinion anyway i it just it seems it's just better that why focus all that energy on that stuff it just doesn't mean you know, we can all feed off of each other do things together like this right here mm-hmm. um you know and share ideas and have fun you know what i mean and that's really what um social media should be about anyways not fighting and arguing and not disliking people and you know, it's ridiculous so it's yeah. nice it's refreshing for that's why i talked to chris a couple of days ago and he was he's like man it's really nice um everyone getting along it's cool and i was like he's like i agree as he goes he goes, <laughs> i really really like the fact that that's not going on anymore I, I it's awesome i've gotten to know luke and rihanna really really well um we talk uh maybe two or three times a week, you know, they're, they're good people. Yeah. You know, so you can't never judge a book 
before cracking it. You got to crack it open and read a few pages and kind of delve yeah. into it before you kind of can pass a judgment. You know what I mean? So you yeah. learn. That's this is the learning experience. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the funny thing is, is just to be official, I know you always remind me that I have the number two podcast, which is cool. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> actually. Chris likes your podcast more than mine. He doesn't. Oh man, that's <laughs> you're talking he, about aliens enough, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, he got done with yours. He's like, man, that's just see now. That's the kind of podcast I like, man. It was just great. Like the two hours, you're like, dude. What's that mean? Thanks, buddy. Like, hey, uh, bro, I'm right here. But uh, he's like, no, no. I mean, yours is yours is yours is right. good too. There's a number. <laughs> So, yeah, so we got to talk about aliens and... and right, yeah, yeah, you got to talk about aliens, man. Aliens and Bigfoot, dude. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so, you are a window cleaner. You've kind of, yes. you've been in, and how long have you been a window cleaner for? I have been cleaning windows since 2005. Um, a friend of mine, a really good friend, his brother owned a window cleaning business, and I was asked one night to clean windows. They needed help, and... Um, one thing led to another and I kind of liked it so much. I was like, you know, I'm just going to leave this job. I was maintaining one, uh, 12, 1200 different condos and apartments. And I, you know, I was just, I was a maintenance technician, you know, I did plumbing yeah. and heating work and, you know, basic repairs around. And I just, I was tired of it. You know, I was building houses before that. And I was just, I'm done turning wrenches and swinging hammers. Let me try this out and see, I'll give it a go. It's someplace new every day. I don't mind being on a ladder or in a lift. And, you know, one thing led to another. And then seven years later, I ended up buying the company from him. And then oh, here I am today, nice. still cleaning windows five years later. So nice. Uh, so it's stuck. It's awesome. It's, uh... it's, yeah, it, it's yeah. awesome. It, it, I, I mean, I didn't really learn. Uh, I learned a little bit. I learned the front end of the business, how to talk to customers, how to, you know, build that customer relationship from my, the previous owner. He was a really, he was, everybody knows John. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if somebody watches this like, Hey, I know John, John was a good, or he was really good at selling. I learned window cleaning from an old high rise guy from Cleveland you know, that he would come in and help us out. And he's the one that showed me, this is how you fan a window. This is how yeah. you, that straight pulling stuff he's doing, teaching you can't, there's <laughs> faster ways to do this. Yeah. So, you know, and I've just, I, you know, I still work with that guy occasionally, you know, he'll call me and, you know, Hey, can I come and work for you for a couple of days? You know, I ain't got nothing going on. He's an older guy, you know, busts nice. out the wooden stacks and gets down. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's he's pretty good still. So mad respect, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I you know, window cleaning is uh you gotta be self motivated. I'm self motivated. Um, I'm motivated like hand to mouth. I like to eat and I like to make money. <laughs> so I mean window cleaning's awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it, it sandwich whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. It, put, it brings it all together for you. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So if you've been a window cleaner for so long, tell me the number one thing that sucks about window cleaning. The number one thing that sucks about window cleaning is um, nobody appreciates the price that you give them. That's the, the number one thing that sucks about window cleaning is um, yeah. the people's uh, thought of your value of your time. Right. That's the only thing that really bothers me. Some people can be really like crass about, you know, what? And it's like, dude, I'm going to be here for how many ever long i mean what do you expect me to do it for nothing you know it's they yeah. it's there's this perception of you know the guy on the corner with a spray bottle and some napkins you know that's not mm -hmm. what i do that's not what yeah. i do you know what i mean come on now you want me in your beautiful home respect the fact that i'm going to charge you a premium price for a quality service yeah you understand this is a luxury, right? Like yeah, you don't right. need your windows clean. They could be as dirty right. as possible and you'll still be able to live. Not only is this um, a luxury, but I am a professional. And, you know, yeah. you, when you hire a professional, you should expect to pay a professional price. That's just, that's the one thing that bothers me the most. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't mind walking away though. If you yeah, want to yeah. go for the cheap guy, I'll talk to you next year. You'll call me again. <laughs> <laughs> they usually so, always do. Yeah, let me get this right. So that guy you had last year did it for half the price, but now he's not answering his phone. <laughs> yeah, right. Weird. I wonder why. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of the interesting thing in window cleaning that you don't really realize until you're in it. But 
we like fly under the radar. Like our average ticket say is would make 65 an hour or whatever. You could be up or down from there, but Mm -hmm. we fly under the radar making good money, but yet people still think that our job is to like clean bird poop off windows, which it is, but yet we're kind of like stealth, you know, where I, I literally had, this is, so we were training a new guy on a crew of two. So there was four of us total. And this lady is just reaming into her daughter. She must have skipped school or something. You know, she's reaming. We got all windows open cleaning. You know, and she's right. like, if you keep effing up, you're going to end up like these guys cleaning windows. Yeah, and we're all just yeah. standing there staring at her. And we got back and some of my guys, my operation guy was like, man, that sucked. Did that like hurt? And I'm like, let's figure it out. We figured out that this job, when it was all said and done, was like $90 an hour, man hour is what we had made in this job. And I was like, so if she skips school, she's going to start making 90 bucks an hour. Like I'm yeah. pretty sure that's a good thing. Like, right. Yeah. That's uh that's a, a common misconception. You know what I mean? That people mm-hmm. are just like, Oh, you're going to end up like that dude. Oh, you mean a, a business owner that, you know, yeah, you yeah. know, I pay my mortgage every month. I've got, um, I've, I've, you know, I've got things that I w- always wanted to have <laughs> and I'm able to afford now, man, that sucks. Yeah. Weird. I mean, yeah. Geez, man. Freedom. Yeah, I can't, I can't hear <laughs> you. Yeah. My boat is running right now. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. That's, and that's, I tell you, that's the one, the one thing I like the most about window cleaning um, is the schedule. Um, it, it's really, you can, if you need to, you can free yourself up, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and go enjoy life. Cause that's the main thing for me. We preach that a lot on our podcast um, is making the time to enjoy the fruits of your labor because yeah um you know if you don't why then do where are you gonna be at why do it why do all this if you can't put press pause you should press pause and go out live a little hug the kids kick the dog you know whatever yeah you whatever you're into <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't judge i don't judge right 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 right, right. <laughs> that's that's kind of the thing and that's if you ever notice too in our industry there's a lot of jw's jehovah's witnesses because they have uh-huh. freedom to go and do their their yes. steal their time that's why everybody's, yes. wow, there's so much religion in this and that's what i didn't is. realize it either i didn't realize it either until i put up an explicit podcast where i cussed <laughs> a lot i didn't realize until then and then they were like hey man i don't like that and i'm like man i'm sorry i didn't know you know it's, it's a large <laughs> contingent of the community the window cleaning and pressure washing community there's a bunch yeah yeah you know, yeah when you have the freedom of by the, the way time. Yeah. Yeah. If if anybody is listening right now, they're they have the the counter and they're trying to count all your your swear words. And so far, it's zero. So yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. <laughs> I've got a I got a pair of vice grips on my leg, like pinned to my leg, to make sure I remember right. that. Too. <laughs> I know. After this, after this is done, you're just gonna hang up and just start just <laughs> throwing stuff. No, my father in law's in the my father in law's in the kitchen drinking a beer. He's waiting for me to uh, nice. to measure to see if. Uh, this trailer hitch that he's got for my pickup truck will work. So oh, nice. sweetheart of a guy like that. Yeah. There yeah. Go. yeah. I got something for you. It's like, okay, great. So he's drinking your beer and uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, no. He's a gentleman. He brought his own. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, he bought his own. Man, that's classy. Now, not to speak necessarily of, of food and drink, but have you eaten Mark's barbecue is it as amazing as he claims it? i've never eaten mark's barbecue but mark has taught me how to uh do his briskets and i also have mark tanner's the tanner rub the outlaw window cleaner rub that we yeah. try to hawk uh i i've been using that and it's awesome i, I the it, man knows what he's doing it's he's really he's really good at it he's really really good at it is it available for sale is the rub for <laughs> sale yet no, we I know have it was to like get, up in the air. Well, well, we I have a bunch of bottles of it. We have to get it. We have to get nutrition. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, you know we got to do it right, or we're gonna get in trouble. Salt, <laughs> all of it. <laughs> <laughs> like here, thinking, what is it gonna? Yeah, we got to do an ingredients list before we can sell it. Uh-huh. So, what you need to do is when you sell a shirt, you give away one of those for free and then <laughs> right. you go around. Well, that's what I have been doing. That's what I have been doing. I, a couple of guys have gotten bottles of Outlaw Rub. Usually what we do is we just give it away as a, uh, a prize on the podcast occasionally. Nice. You know what I mean? So nice. Mark does his little, you know, Mark's game showy and stuff like that. So he mm-hmm. likes to do little contests and questions and stuff. So <laughs> we have a good time. We have a good time. Nice. I, I was uh, actually uh, the other, the last – so second to last from when this is coming out, um, there was a very interesting one that he did off the cuff, uh, which costs more episode. I, I thought that was very interesting. Very eye-opening. Very eye-opening. <laughs> he's a trip, man. Oh, okay. uh, he's a, he's a, Mark is, uh, 
Mark is like a kindred spirit. You know, I mean, I, I, you know, as soon as me and Mark met each other, it was like instant. We just hit it off. Yeah. Um, and we are, I mean, I get a shower fart every morning. He's oh. records us. He records his farts and sends them to me. He's see that's, he's that's that kind of friendship guy. right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a little, he's, I think he's 10 years older than I am, but he just, you know, he's a sweet, <laughs> he's a sweetheart of a guy and knows everything. And he is, if there was a guy to ask, Hey man, how do I get the stain scratch? whatever off a of glass that's the guy mark tanner that's who you ask the man knows his he knows his glass especially glass restoration and that's yeah. i think he's like the anchor on the show you know what i mean he's the one that kind of keeps me and tim grounded or at least tethered you know what i mean so we don't right, throw right. it away so yeah <laughs> it's uh he's a good dude i really like mark so are you telling me that his uh long or short story long when he does that is really just to just bring everything back down and get caught. No, 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 he, no, he's, he's like that in real life on the podcast, <laughs> on the phone. He's like, Hey man, you got a minute. And then you look down and it's like 45 minutes later. It's like, Ugh, I geez, had a minute. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a trip, man. Nice. How did you guys get like hooked up? Like all of you, like in the we, whole beginning. I met Mark Tanner in the, Pro Window Cleaning Group, WCR's group on Facebook. That's where I met Mark. I had a technical question that someone answered and said, hey, you ought to use this chemical on it. And Mark hit me up on instant, or uh, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? The Facebook messenger. messenger. Or whatever. And he said, yeah. hey man, this is what you should do. And then we went back and forth, back and forth. And then I, we were friends on Facebook and I asked somebody, Hey, does anybody have a good brisket recipe? And then as soon as that happened, it just was, it's all been downhill from there. It was Tim, just hearts. Tim, yeah. Tim, I remember from the pro window cleaning group, but I didn't really get to speak to Tim very much until Josh introduced him, him and I, Joshua Shof is from Akron and I, you know, occasionally go up and, you know, I've given him a hand a couple of times, but me and Josh, our friendship, my friendship with Josh led to a friendship with Tim and my partnership in outlaw window cleaners. So that's how that, all that happened. Josh made, Josh stirred that pot. You know what I mean? So nice. The silent partner. Should like, yeah, well, I, it was, it was, the, it was the drive you guys got to do that probably really secured your friendship, oh, right? Yeah, the, the drive to Kansas City, Missouri was absolutely epic. Yes, me and Joshua Schof and my, a childhood friend of mine, Jason Snyder, who actually lived next door to me that I introduced to window cleaning a few years back, who's now like big time soft wash guy. Like he went, I, I don't do soft wash. He, I introduced him to the cleaning industry and then he just went nuts with it. So nice. you know, we had a really good time. We just got in the van and went to Kansas city, Missouri. It was a good time, man. Nice. Nice. Yeah. It was, uh, I, I imagine a lot of uh, just singing Kumbaya and sharing stories and listening oh, yeah. to Mark Fanner fart, Mark Tanner farts on your phone. Yeah. yeah. Well, well we, we had some fart spray. So we fart sprayed uh, the bed and breakfast that uh, they rented for some of the guys. We stayed in the hotel. So we went to the bed and breakfast and nice. fart spray me and David Kaznucha and Joe Hardy. And we just, we had a good time, man. We, it, that, I think that was the best part of it is again, the camaraderie with the yeah. guys. That's, that's, I mean, that, I mean, and you guys, the, the huge conventions coming up soon. And I think that, I mean, although you offer all, they offer all of that stuff, you know, training and seminars and all, the camaraderie has got to be what drives everybody to make sure they so can make fun. it. You know, it's so much fun getting together with guys that do what you do. They get yeah. what they get it. They get it, you know? So it's, it's, it's fun. We had a great yeah. time. I say like some of my like really truly best friends in life are guys that I've met in the industry that I talk to on Vox right. or in every other groups. Right. Like those are the right. guys that like I go to these shows and hang out with them. Like we've never not hung out. Like there's this weird unspoken kind of, you're not bothering your spouse or your, your, your family with like, you know, right. like when you say this job is a PETA or a blah, like everybody just gets it. It's this weird subliminal understanding that you just don't get very often. Right. Yeah. You don't, uh, you don't see that in a lot of other industries either. You know what I mean? Especially one as competitive as this. Yeah. You know? That's the one thing that I always, I always ask myself, is it really like this everywhere or is it just window cleaning? So right. 
Yeah. But now you guys are not going to be at the huge convention or are you still, is it still up in the air? I, it's still up in the air for me. I'm not really sure yet. It all depends. There's a couple of bids I've put in and it all depends on these bids. If one of these bids lands, then I, I'm not going to be able to, unfortunately. You know, that's going to devastate Chrissy Lambo, right? Like, yeah, yeah. He, uh, yeah. He's, he's, he's really looking forward to uh, making sure I get the rest of my payment for all my shilling than I do. You that's know, what I've it is. paid off. So, you know, I'm just saying. I might I might miss a payment, you know, so whatever. If you don't go, you're not going to see uh, Chris in real life and you're not going to see Phil in real life. Yes. And, you know, Phil is also one of your top-notch buddies. Yes. So. I, dude, Philip is the man. Simple. He's, Simple. he's, the, he's one of the OGs. <laughs> yeah, he's one OG. of the OGs. Yeah, you got to love Philip. He's uh, – Philip uh, Philip is a strange bird. But I, I enjoy talking to him. I, I, I enjoy it. Because, you know, once you peel back the layers of that onion, there's, there's a diamond in there. He, he, the guy, he knows some – he's got some stuff in there that's really valuable information. It just – you yeah. got to filter it. You know, and some people just can't filter. You know? Yeah. It's, it's like, uh, you know, in the movies, there's always that one character that's just crazy. Like, the walls yeah. are orange, and you don't know right. what they're saying. But then when you yeah. find out they've been right the whole time, that's yes, Phil. Yes, The, like, the uh, walls Phil. are orange. Yeah, Uncle <laughs> Phil just, like, gets it, and you're like, oh, that's what he meant. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice. And, and it would be nice if Mark went, because Phil is probably shorter than Mark, so – Mark I heard that there's a rumor that, you know, that there's maybe a contest for the shortest man in window cleaning. So man, see, there, yeah. there could, it, it could be there. You never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, man. Well, Hey, I appreciate you coming on. I know this was, uh, you know, kind of, we talked about it for a while, so right. it's pretty cool to kind of merge both of them together and kind of, uh, have this opportunity. So. Awesome. Well, you're going to have to come and do our show now and you're going to have to come and do our, we're going to swear. It's going to be awesome, dude. <laughs> I got to get a pack of uh, marble reds and I have yeah. to go really close and this yeah. is all you can see. The <laughs> Mark that's Darnell. Like, yeah. That's, that's everybody. And then just, yeah. guys, you're, you're doing this. Like it right. would be nice to see as other people are watching the podcast. Cause everybody's doing this. Like, yeah. what's he doing? Where is he at? Where, who is this? Yeah. And then it's, random Bigfoot comes in again yeah. with just this it, much. It's, what, a, what a trip, man. What a trip. I really appreciate you having me on, man. It's, it was awesome. Thank you so for much sure. for having me. I'm, I'm just excited that you talked like, you know, window cleaning stuff. Cause you know, usually it's, it's, you're, you're on the Chrissy Lambo side where, you know, it's usually aliens and stuff. So we'll hit well, that I, next time. We'll have to, I, I feel like, yeah, yeah, I'll come back again, but I feel like I, we have to, you know, cater to the audience. You know what I mean? Maybe they're yeah. like, man, I don't want to hear this guy talk. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. But uh, if you haven't checked it out, check out the outlaw uh, podcast. It's on, on uh, Sundays and Wednesdays. And uh, it's at eight because I know you switched it down. I think actually it's, for Chris, you I, yeah, that. we changed it for Chris for at seven, but it's at uh, we say eight, but it's usually eight thirty. Um, once we talk to us for thirty minutes, it's on my my YouTube channel, the the T Squeegee channel, and uh, it's every Wednesday and Sunday. So um, nice. we're hopefully we'll have Jersey on soon. That'll be cool, Boom. right? There you yeah, go. Awesome. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, so check that out. Uh, go to, uh, you know, Outlaw has, has their own Facebook page too. Mm -hmm. Go in. It's a private group. Um, but try to get in there and uh, just see both sides of it, man. That's how yeah. this whole thing works is just that yeah. uh, everybody's starting to play uh, on the same side. and It's pretty yeah. awesome. It may, not, it, it may not be for everyone, but that's, you know, that's, that's understandable. You know what I mean? And we understand that. So we're not everyone's cup of tea, but some people like our tea. So. But then some people might find out that they really do like it and it'll be their dirty little secret that they can right. sneak yeah, over. Right, yeah, they can do that too. We won't tell nobody. <laughs> you just put whatever is screen yeah, You can do right, a right. sort of fake YouTube channel just so you can comment <laughs> on the video. <laughs> right, yeah. Just to make sure you subscribe on the fake channel though. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> definitely go do that. Go to right. Squeegee and subscribe because that's uh, that's like thank virtual you. high fives in the yeah. world of YouTube. Yeah. So. Yeah, thank you, buddy. I dig it, man. That. Appreciate it. For sure. Hey, uh, so if you um, are still watching and you are interested in buying any supplies, please do let me know. I want to be your rep. 862-312-2026. And this week, the code for 5% off is T Squeegee. If you tell me that code, you get 5% off, so let me know. But it has to be through me. People, stop going on the window cleaning site or the uh, chat and asking Alex. Call Jersey. 
You have to call me. You have to go through me. Text me or call me, 862-312-2026. But either way, thanks for watching the podcast, listening, whatever. Thumbs up on YouTube. Comment down below. And go subscribe to T-Squeegee. That is what we all want. So thanks again for hanging out. And uh, we'll see you guys again next week. Peace.